How's it going guys and gals? Uh, extremely, extremely long day, so I'm trying to squeeze in a video. Anyways, uh, today's video, I wanna talk about uh, common mistakes that I see that people make regarding um, the masks and talk about some of the confusion as to why a lot of people just don't really have the proper information. And honestly, you probably shouldn't, I got a lot of allergies, I apologize. I don't really blame you because the CDC and the World Health Organization are, and the Surgeon General are saying one thing and then flip-flopping constantly. So anyway, um, I wanna talk about that and then give you my uh, overall opinion on it. So first and foremost, one common, mis common mistake I see is uh, people uh, wearing masks while they're exercising, especially cardiovascular exercise. I see them going outside now. Getting exercise is great, especially during this time of quarantine slash lockdown, shelter in place, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, getting good sunlight, getting exercise is a stress reliever, getting some natural vitamin D from the sun. And it's good, but I see, I've seen more and more people wearing a mask while they're working out, and that's a big no-no. You don't wanna do that. So what happens is when you, from a, a medical sample, when you put a mask on like this, you're breathing in, every time you take a breath, you're taking in less carbon dioxide, less oxygen. And as you're taking in less, you're breathing out less. So it's just a vicious cycle. See, when I don't have my mask on or I'm not covering my mouth, I'm able to take in a nice clean breath, get in as much oxygen as I need and then expel it. But when it's limited, it's just a limited capacity. So I'm taking in a little bit, I'm breathing out a little bit. Taking in a little bit, take breathing out a little bit. And this causes a lot of people to have anxiety, tend to get really feel uncomfortable, it feels really hot on them, they get a little lightheaded, and um, because you're getting in less oxygen, you're getting uh, not, um, you're not getting as much. So on top of it, you're working out, and when you work out, what happens? Your heartbeat gets gets going. You um, your heart's working harder, your lungs are working harder. So you're exacerbating the situation by putting on a mask while you're uh, working out, like if you're bike riding, running, and whatnot. Even when you're lifting weights, it's, even though that's anaerobic respiration, you should not be wearing a mask. You don't need to. That's a big no-no. Another common mistake I see is people wearing masks while they're driving. Their windows are up, got the AC on, there's no one around. Um, they're by themselves, they're wearing a mask. Um, maybe it makes them feel better, but you don't need to do that. That's um, excessive. You got to wear it. A lot of people are tired of, tired of wearing the masks anyway, so why make it even worse and spend even more minutes or possibly even hours if you commute a lot by wearing a mask and making yourself miserable so you don't want to do that the other thing is if you have pre-existing um, conditions i don't know the specifics you have to talk to your own doctor about it but if you have like uh any type of like asthma not and i'm not saying in particular if you have asthma don't wear the mask you have to consult with your doctor but if you have any type of upper respiratory pre-existing conditions you have you know you got tested positive for tb you have uh, asthma, bronchitis, stuff like that. You need to talk to your doctor. Don't just immediately put on the mask. And this is what pisses me off. I kind of wish, I mean, now they're talking about it, but when this first whole pandemic, plandemic, I call it, uh, came to surface, there was just a lot of confusion and they weren't very clear cut about any of this. So some people that were thinking they were, they were um, uh, lessening their chances of getting the COVID, they're actually uh, going in uh, for uh, different medical reasons and the mask is exacerbating the problem. So if you have pre-existing conditions, especially if, if it's breathing breathing related, consult your doctor. Now this whole, uh, before I give you my opinion on how I feel about masks overall, this whole confusion stems from the fact, you know, from the Surgeon General starting off saying, we don't, you shouldn't wear it. You should save it for the healthcare workers to now we've got to wear it. The CDC saying we should wear it or all the time. Now the World Health Organization says not to wear it. So this is according to, and I'll try to remember the quote, this is verbate, verbatim, excuse me, from the American Journal of Association, April, late April of 2020, very recent. It says, quote, they say quote in their journal, unless you are a healthcare worker, show symptoms of signs of being sick or, um, taking care of someone that has tested positive for COVID-19, the surgical masks and including N95s are not recommended, not required, not recommended. And uh, another World Health Organization uh, doctor, I don't have the name, stated the exact claim. 
but the CDC, the Center, Centers for Disease Control, they're stating that you should be wearing a mask in public. What the hell? This is a, a classic example, a microcosm of these yahoos. Pretty much no one knows anything. Um, and, and it gets me pretty angry, but we live in a world where a lot of censorship. I talked about that briefly before. Everyone's on prevent defense. You watch football, it's that prevent defense, right? It's just, oh, if there's any, 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 any small little chance, if Dr. Fauci knows there's any small chance, he's going to take all precautions, all precautions that that's the society we live in. I live in the re re reality where we take calculated risks every day, but I don't want to digress too much regarding the subject on masks. Anyway, so that's where the confusion lies. My overall opinion is, I will wear a mask if it's required. If I have to go up and pick up some food and they tell me to wear a mask, I don't want to get these businesses in trouble. These businesses are already hurting and I'm trying to help as many, especially the local businesses as much as possible. So I will abide and wear the mask. If they don't require it, I will not wear a mask. Um, at work, obviously I have to wear the mask. Um, but overall, if you're healthy, uh, you don't fall in, any of the high risk category, then give yourself some breathing room and don't wear the mask. I mean, I'm not, if you wanna wear the mask, it makes you feel better, go ahead. But I'll, I'll end it with this. Hypothetically, if a baby was born and they were to put that baby in a bubble and then they weren't, that baby wasn't to come out of the bubble until they were like 10 years old, what do you think would happen? They would get sick beyond beyond recognition beyond all means. Why? Because that's how you build an immune system. Getting a little bit of dirt on your hands. That's why the hand sanitizer is good to a point. But there's just so much overkill. People are just constantly wiping their hands on the, with soap and water. And it's good to be sanitary, obviously, no pun intended. But you get to the point where you're killing your immune system. You're not even getting fresh air. Um, there's, there's a such thing as herd immunity. So even though you might, there's a lot of people that got probably well, had COVID, didn't even know, and they just fought it off with their own immune system. Your immune system is the best thing. So being in this, I wouldn't say it's a bubble, but in a way it is, right? You're telling you to wear the masks, doing the sanitizer. You're not going outside. You're isolating yourself. You're, you're not, some people are not even exercising because they can't go to the gyms. You are compromising your immune system, and maybe that's their end game. Maybe that's what they want. Um, I'll talk about that in another video, what, you know, what's in store. So that's my time. Hope you, uh, this video was informative regarding the masks. Uh, use your best judgment. Don't be coughing on other people, but the Stanford study and multiple other microbiologists, biologists, and, and doctors that are censored or not censored, they're not getting their, they're not on the mainstream. Uh, the Stanford study states that the true mortality of the COVID is uh, 0.1%. So Point one. That's it's like the common flu. That's my time. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't let the uh, the media and the fear control you. And uh, use your best judgment. And I'm gonna try my best um, all the time to give you uh, the best information as possible. And if I'm incorrect, I will um, correct it. Thanks, my thanks for watching. Bye.